Should Christians schedule a baptism? Should they wait to be baptized? Is that even biblical? Here, let's take a look. Okay, so now we're going to be in James chapter 4, verse 14. Here, check this out. He says, James says, Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. All right, so we can see that James is saying, we don't know what tomorrow brings. We don't know because our life is so short here on earth, we don't know. Here, I got some more verses. Check this out. All right, so we're in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 22. We're going to be in verse 16. Uh, this is Paul sharing his testimony to the crowd. I suggest that you actually read this whole chapter and actually even the previous chapter to get the whole context. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look at that verse. He says, And now, why tarriest thou? Why wait? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins calling on the name of the Lord. Hmm. Okay, so we can clearly see in Paul's testimony, he was telling the crowd, he said, why wait? Be baptized in the name of the Lord. Why wait? See, it's funny that we tend to want to schedule and, and, and schedule our baptism, and that's not even biblical. The churches have taught that we need to schedule a baptism. We need to make sure we get enough people to baptize or we need to make sure it's done on this certain day. God did not promise tomorrow. And we have to understand that. And we have to see even Paul was sharing, he's sharing, why wait? Do it now. We do not know what tomorrow brings. Our life is very short and God does not promise those days. Uh, tomorrow, why are we scheduling these baptisms? It's not biblical. Well, then some people say, well, I need witnesses. Well, um, we can clearly see when Philip baptized the eunuch, it was just them two. So here, let's take a look at that. Okay, so uh, we're going to be in the book of Acts again, uh, chapter 8. We're going to actually start in uh, verse 36 down to 38. I highly, highly suggest that you read this whole ch ch chapter to get the context of the whole story. I believe it starts in verse 26, but read the whole chapter. It is a really good read. Uh, Philip meets this eunuch. Uh, he was led by the Spirit. Uh, the Spirit of God led uh, uh, Philip to this eunuch, and they met up, and then they went on the road together. Uh, and it's a really powerful story. So here we go. Verse 36, it says, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here's, a, here's water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, you mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and then went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Hmm. Okay, so you can clearly see it was just Philip and the eunuch that went into the water so that Philip baptized the eunuch in the water. And it was just two of them. There was no other witnesses around that saw this except for the Spirit of God. On top of that, they didn't even wait. They stopped the chariot and went straight to the body of water. They didn't wait. They didn't say, well, we'll go to the next town and then get baptized. No, they did it right then and there. But other than that, there was no one else there. So this idea that we need to have this big crowd to be baptized it's not biblical can there be a big crowd absolutely there was when john was baptizing there was a crowd there it was not scheduled you go and you do it right then and there actually i think you're hindering yourself when you schedule a baptism and i don't think it's biblical and i think the churches that are teaching it uh, should repent and turn from that because it's, it's not right because Jesus tells us to go be baptized not only by water but by spirit too but that's a whole nother story there's so much more to baptism but I really wanted to touch on this should Christians schedule a baptism I, I, I from looking at the scriptures say no uh, I don't think it's biblical to do that uh, because we do not know what tomorrow brings and as Paul says in his testimony why wait okay that's it if you believe that God is good type amen and share this with somebody bye bye